In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Git and Eclipse between multiple developers. So we will see how to push and pull different changes and how to resolve conflicts that may appear when multiple developers are working on the same file. For the purpose of the demonstration I have created a simple Java project that has one file um, and this main method of this file has uh, an array of names from the Middle Earth and then we print greetings for those names in this array. Now this already has been committed and pushed to a repository called git, hello git. It is in github and you can see the repository here in the git repositories view. You can see that the master, uh, the local master branch has the hash code ed9e and the remote branch has also the same code. So they are cloned, they are identical now. Now if you look at the website, you can see the identical file also here. This is uh, the hello git repository and this is the path to the file. So let's see if we have another developer. I have two Eclipse workspaces here. In another developer view who wants to first clone that project and then import it to the workspace. So there are two ways to do that. First you can clone it using the git repositories view and after that import it. Or we can do it all in one step, so we can import an Eclipse project. There is an, uh, an option at git, projects from git. And then we use the clone URI. And what is the clone URI? Well, we can get it from here. We go to the hello git repository. We get the URI here. Just paste it here and it will automatically give host and repository path based on the URI. Um, it also remembers my username and password because I'm using the secure store to save it. Okay, it found the master branch in the remote repository. So it's going to download it and use the tag origin to annotate that remote branch. And now this wizard is already importing a new project. So it already actually got the repository here. You can see it in the git repositories view. And now it's going to go through this repository and, and working directory there and trying to find Eclipse projects there. So if you have an Eclipse project, it can find it. So we have this Hello Middle Earth project there that we import to our workspace. So there are two different things. There is the, the repository view here, and then there's the actual project that we open. So this requires two steps and we did it all in one. So you can see that this file here is identical. I've uh, changed the background to blue so you can see that this is the developer two. The white background is developer one. So this is developer one, developer two. So let's assume that these guys are working on the same file together. So for example, this developer will decide to add a couple of new names there. There is the Boromir and his brother Faramir. And let's say that we also want to add here a new sysout. How are you doing today? So we did two changes. Added a couple of items to the array and then I also, also added this uh, println. Now you can see that it has been modified. We get the bracket icon here. but Let's not commit it yet. Let's first go to the other developer who is modifying the file at the same time. So this could, for example, uh, increase, put as a more comment to the fine folks in the Middle Earth. Yes. And then um, this for loop is the old fashioned. So let's convert it to for each loop. So we get uh, for each string name in names we print out that name okay so this also has been modified so let's say that this developer is, is now pushing first the changes so let's just right click team and commit so first commit then push now okay let's say that uh, we uh, converted for loop 
and okay these are coming from the configuration file and I'm committing this file okay I will do the commit and push at the same time you can first commit and then push also that's fine or you can do it all at once okay and just say that okay this one was now committed and the new hash code is e176 e176 in both remote and local now let's go back to the other developers workspace here we have a little bit different hash codes ed9e um, and if we try to commit this one now remember that the first developer already committed so we try to commit this one that was based on the old code okay added a print out and two new characters and uh, because this is a second developer so let's just modify it a little bit for the sake of uh, differentiating these two developers okay um, let's commit and push as well committing is fine so we can see that the local master is now different ID 1507 but pushing failed it says rejected non fast forward so it wasn't simple there was something wrong so let's try to get the latest changes from the server and see what's what's going on there so we go team and pull so we try to get things from the server and you can see that now there's a conflict there's a conflict between these two commits added a printout which is the this developer and converted for loop which is the first developer okay and then you can see that these markers here in indicate where the code conflict occurs so this code here this is my code from this developer 2 and this code here is the other developer so now we should manually fix the code so that it works fine so let's take this one here and for each loop instead of for loop and that's it now we have fixed the code there are no more errors except that okay one more thing this should be of course name so no more errors now this part of the code was not conflicted because the other developer did not touch this array so it's only this for loop that was a problem okay you can also see that it was conflict because of these um, icons here but now that we have saved it we can try to push it okay it says conflict so you cannot actually push it yet so what we can do here is we can open a view special view called git staging and you can see that here we have the hello middle urge in unstate changes so if something is in unstate changes it cannot be committed it cannot be pushed so we must push this one okay now it shows when you double click it shows like the two different versions of it but since we edit it already we can just drag it here and then well there's a commit message and again this is the other developer second developer so let's mo modify those things commit and push okay and then it tells what to do um, well we added those print out and two new characters and we merged merging means um, merging two branches together in this case two conflicting branches okay so let's now go to the here the web view let's see the source code here okay we have now the two new characters and we have for each loop and modified comment as well as new system out print LN. so this is now the code that had a conflict but that was resolved by the developer 2 and if you look at the developer 1 view over here this is still the old code so what we should do here is we should pull the latest changes now before you start editing files you should always pull the latest changes 
to make sure that you have the latest copy of the file before you start working on it. Okay, now we have the latest changes here. Okay, so this is how you work with multiple developers. You push and pull. Always remember the pull before you start working on it. And if there is a conflict, manually resolve it. Um, and then take uh, open this git staging from unstaged after solving after solving the the conflict drag from unstaged to staged and then you can commit do the final commit and that should solve those conflicts quite easily okay but don't forget to communicate with other developers that's still important even though git is a cool system all right thanks for watching